So there's been some pretty massive news with INQ. So let's dive right into this shit. In today's video, we're going to be breaking down two major updates from the company, including a big change from the top and a powerful new global partnership that could significantly impact their future. Alright, so first up, INQ has just appointed a new CEO, Niccolo De Masi, and this could be a game changer for the company. That'll ram the stock price into the ground. Just kidding. Even though that kind of already did happen. This move comes as the company looks to ramp up its next phase of growth, and Niccolo's appointment makes a significant shift in leadership. And if you're wondering why this change happened, the answer lies with Peter Chapman, the former CEO. He's stepping down after serving the company. However, I think what's most important here is that he will still remain with INQ as the president. This transfer was just part of a broader reconstruction plan designed to refine INQ's focus and bring in leadership with experience to drive the company into the next phase. Could this leadership explain why INQ's stock price took a hit on February 26? Well, it's possible. The market didn't really seem entirely thrilled with the transition to be honest. And as you know, leadership changes often bring a lot of uncertainty. However, to be fair, the broader market as a whole, and more particularly tech stocks, have been down during this time as well. And I get it, investors can be hesitant when a new person comes in, especially when a company is in such a cutting edge and volatile field like quantum computing. But at the same time, Niccolo De Masi brings a wealth of experience in leading tech companies, which might just be what INQ needs to scale up. Time will tell of course, but I'll definitely be keeping a close eye on this one. Alright then, let's move on to the next exciting development from INQ, as they just secured a huge deal in the quantum computing space. They just announced a major acquisition and partnership that could reshape its trajectory moving forward. INQ is acquiring ID Quantique, a Geneva-based leader in quantum safe cybersecurity and quantum photonic systems. And on top of this, INQ is also entering into a strategic global partnership with SK Telecom one of South Korea's biggest telecommunication companies. So what exactly is ID Quantique? Well, they're pioneers in the quantum safe encryption market, which is becoming increasingly important today. As quantum computing continues to evolve, traditional encryption systems are becoming more and more vulnerable to powerful quantum algorithm attacks. ID Quantique specializes in quantum key distribution and quantum number generation, which are pretty much fundamental technologies in securing communications in a quantum powered world. So with this acquisition, INQ is now in a prime position to integrate ID Quantique's technologies into their own offerings. Now let's talk about what this means for INQ's future and why this is such a big deal for investors. By acquiring ID Quantique, INQ gains access to a wealth of intellectual property in the rapidly growing quantum cybersecurity sector. This means that this could open up a whole new revenue stream for INQ that wasn't available before. And as quantum computing advances, industries across the board will need to rethink their cybersecurity strategies. INQ's move into this space positions them as a leader in not only quantum computing hardware, but in the broader quantum ecosystem. Now, on top of all this, the partnership with SK Telecom is another major deal for INQ. SK Telecom is one of South Korea's biggest telecom giants, and they're actively exploring how quantum computing could revolutionize telecommunications, artificial intelligence, and even 5G networks. So with this partnership, INQ will have access to cutting edge research, along with a chance to collaborate on new quantum applications that could transform entire industries. And what's particularly interesting here is how INQ and SK Telecom plan to leverage their combined resources. You see, SK Telecom's expertise is in AI and communications, and when paired with INQ's leadership in quantum computing, this could lead to groundbreaking innovations. Together, they'll work on next-gen quantum algorithms and technologies that could push forward quantum networking, quantum enhanced AI, and even quantum cloud computing. So with that, let's talk about how all of this impacts INQ's stock price. With this acquisition and strategic partnership, INQ is strengthening its position as a quantum computing powerhouse. This move into quantum cybersecurity opens up new business opportunities and the partnership with SK Telecom gives INQ access to the kind of resources and expertise that could accelerate the development of real-world quantum solutions. So while INQ stock has had some pretty rough days, this long-term play could see the company's stock rebound and even rise higher long-term as a full impact of these deals take shape. And I think investors who are looking to gain exposure to the quantum computing industry should definitely pay attention to this because INQ is positioning itself as not only a hardware provider, but a key player in the entire quantum ecosystem, from encryption all the way to networking. 
At least that's the way I'm seeing it. So whether it's a leadership change, the acquisition of ID Quantique, or the global partnership with SK Telecom, INQ is clearly getting ready for something big here. And I think these moves could represent major opportunities in the growing quantum sector. Honestly though, I'm curious to know what you guys think about INQ's new direction. Do you think these changes will lead to a boom in the stock price? Or do you think there are some risks that investors need to consider? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Because these aren't the only changes happening at INQ. One of the most groundbreaking discoveries just happened in quantum computing. And it's all thanks to INQ. To see what I'm talking about, check out this video next. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.